Since 1973, the Volkswagen Passat has been the car to go for if its smaller brother, the Golf, didn't offer quite the practicality you needed from a car. And Volkswagen has always been renowned as being a premium manufacturer. And the latest car, the Artium, promises to add more technology, luxury and style than any car Volkswagen has ever made before. And it's positioned in the marketplace to go in direct competition with the highly respected BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe and Audi A5 Sportback. Now, I've managed to get the keys to one today from my friends at Lister's Volkswagen Stratford upon Avon. The Volkswagen Artian. So where has this car come from? Well, the Artian is essentially the successor to the Passat CC, which Volkswagen made between 2008 to 2017. And as I mentioned earlier, this car is positioned in the marketplace to go in direct competition with the likes of the BMW 4 Series Grand Coupe and the Audi A5 Sportback. It starts from £31,000 and it gets a lot of equipment as standard. You have full leather seats, adaptive cruise control, the active info display behind the steering wheel, an 8.3 inch infotainment system here. And it's been interesting gauging people's reactions since I collected this car this morning. We've had all sorts of people approach me to talk to me about the car. We've had builders in their work vans pulling up to admire it. And then when I was in Chipping Candom earlier filming the introduction, we had a bunch of ladies pull up in a lovely Porsche Cayenne who were asking me about the car, saying, I've never seen one of these before. What is it? The paint's beautiful. And it's got me thinking, would you get that sort of reaction in a standard 4 Series Grand Coupe or an Audi A5 Sportback? I suspect not. And it's important to remember that this car is a completely standard spec. It's got no optional extras on it, so that's impressive. It's a clear indication that Volkswagen have got the design right on this car. The particular Artin I'm driving today has the middle of the range petrol engine which is 190 brake horsepower which is good for 0 to 60 in 7.7 .7 seconds and a smidge under 150 miles an hour. There's a choice of six different engines available for this car, three petrol and three diesel with both the range stopping petrol and diesel engine coming standard with Volkswagen's four wheel drive for motion system petrol engine producing 280 brake horsepower with the diesel producing 240. Two litre TSI powertrain I've got in this car, it's probably fast enough for most drivers, it's certainly not rapid. If I was to acquire this car I would want the 280 brake horsepower petrol engine because then it would turn this car into a proper proper sleeper. That's good for 0 to 60 in 5.6 seconds and it goes on to a limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. Yum. Volkswagen's marketing material claims that the Arteon's elongated contours and long wheelbase give it a highly distinctive profile. Now, when I look at this vehicle, the initial words which come to mind are it's striking, it's classy, and it's modern. One very prominent feature is this mahoosive grille we've got at the front of the car, complemented by these minimalistic LED headlights at the front. And then when we take a look at these wheels, these are the standard 19 inch wheels you get on the R-Line, which is the trim level of this car here. And 
I suppose one of the key things you notice straight away when you look at this car is the vibrant colour. Now this is called Timrick Yellow and it's a blend of a mustard yellow and a gold. And I think this is part of the reason why we've had lots of people approaching us today asking questions about this car. On the side of the vehicle, we have these frameless windows, which are heavily tinted at the rear, which I think help make the car look a little bit more mean. And one particular thing I really like is Volkswagen have broken up the car nicely with gloss black detailing, which you can see here on this rear lip. And we've also got the subtle Artyon lettering on the rear too. And I suppose what we should do now is take a look inside the Artyon to see what the interior is like. Come on. Now normally, if you're going on a road trip and you don't manage to call shotgun, well that's a bad, bad thing because it means you have to reside to the back of the car where it's all cramped and generally quite uncomfortable. But with the Arteon, you have a lot of legroom in the rear. In fact, the seat in front of me is set for my driving position. I'm six foot and in the rear, I can pretty much fully outstretch my legs. The headroom is adequate. I could probably be sat here in comfort if I was six foot two, six foot three. The interior, it, it's solid black leather. It's nice, it's not particularly exciting. We have this cool orange ambient lighting strip here with this brushed aluminium material above. That's nice, but other than that, it's just standard Volkswagen affair. One of the attractions to buying something like an Arteon in the particular spec I have is we have a seven speed DSG gearbox, which means when you're driving in a town like this, it's a super easy car to drive. The gearbox is smooth. You've got lots of torque, which means it's easy to pull away from a set of traffic lights. Yes, this is a large car. It's 4.86 meters in length, but it's easy to maneuver and we have got parking sensors in the front and rear which come as standard which are definitely useful when you park in the car and for instance now when we're driving to our next location to do some drive-by shots i've got the directions on the active info display which is good because it means i can keep my point of focus ahead instead of having to look at the screen in the middle there the steering is light now I've read, don't quote me on this, so I can't be 100% sure it's true, but the windows are double glazed as well. And I could believe it because it is very quiet in the cabin. This particular car is on the standard 19 inch wheels, which are very, very effective at soaking up potholes and speed bumps. You have a very smooth, simple ride. What I'm going to do now is start summing up my thoughts on the Artyon and little quirks I've noticed which I like and also things I've noticed which I don't like. Traction. The Artyon I'm in today is the 190 brake horsepower, front wheel drive, middle of the range petrol engine. And when I've been driving around, the front tyres have been losing traction quite regularly when the car's been in sport mode. Now, I know it's the middle of the winter, so road conditions aren't ideal but I think if you wanted to opt for one of these and you're quite a sporty driver then you would probably want to go for the four motion. The steering wheel which is in this car is I think exactly the same as the one you get in the Golf R which is good because it's a really nice steering wheel. The seats are very supportive. The standard speaker system we've got in this car is loud and sufficiently bass enough. You can put a Diane Audio sound system in this car for a thousand pounds, which gives you 12 speakers and a 700 watt subwoofer. But I think, to be honest, save your change and spend that on another extra. For instance, if I was to purchase one of these cars, I would probably want the panoramic roof, as I just think it would make it feel a little bit more premium inside. 
Other optional extras you can put on this car is called emergency assist, where if it detects the driver has become incapable of driving, it will put the hazard lights on and will pull the car to the side of the road and to a stop and then automatically call the emergency services. That's quite cool. Volkswagen don't expect this to be a high volume seller, meaning you've got that Q car understated appeal. And for me, that's an attractive proposition. The brand new Volkswagen Arteon. It's refreshingly different, super stylish, highly competent, and it's an interesting alternative to the likes of the BMW and Audi, which you'll probably more commonly see on the road. If you want a more interesting proposition and something with a bit more style than the conventional Passat, and then for my money, something like that Arteon is certainly worth a look. Guys, if you have been, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.